So here I am. Hello, everybody. I am Katie Harari, and I'm speaking to you from Jerusalem, our home. And it's a huge honor to be part of this incredible day. The SCA's initiative to do this is incredible. And we wish Ben Shoshana Shilema, the founder, Stanley Chira, a huge Shilema, along with all the others who fell ill. And all of Chole Am Israel wish them a big uh, Hi, Ken. Okay, so let's mute everybody. You don't have to mute if you're okay. Hi, Ken. No. Hi everyone. It's I'm honored to be part to be living in Israel. It's a huge uh, honor for me to be here. So we nourished our souls uh, up till this point with all the Torah and uh, all the Limudim. And now we need to nourish our bodies in order to continue to nourish our souls and to continue to do mitzvot and masim tavim. We want to nourish them with healthy snacks and healthy food because healthy foods build our immune system and we need to work on a strong immune system, especially during this time. So I'm going to get right into, okay, we should get right into um, our first dessert of the day. And I'm using Hashem's candy. I'm using dates. Um, these are Majhul dates. I'm sure you have them in Brooklyn. We have at least 10 or 12 kinds of dates here. So there's much whole dates. And what I'm gonna use for this are these tiny little berry dates. They come from the kibbutz down uh, south, Sahar. It's between the Dead Sea and Eilat, if any of you are familiar with Israel. And they taste like honey toffee. They're absolutely incredible. They, they come out very rarely. So when I see them in the shuk, I, I buy quite a lot of them. So our first dessert, I'm gonna put the recipe up for you. If I can, that will be quite amazing. One second. Uh, nope, that's my emails. One second. Desktop. And here we go. Okay. Does everybody see that? Give me, somebody give me a thumbs up. If you see, yeah, great. Okay, so we're gonna take these dates and we're gonna open them and de-pit them. I already de-pitted them. So make sure you check for little critters, especially if you're vegetarian. I have found quite a lot of interesting things in dates, so be very careful. And we're gonna make a mixture of Raw tahina, we're gonna take a quarter of a cup of raw tahina. I use this brand. I don't know if you get it in America, Har Bracha. It's one of the most delicious brands. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and two teaspoons of maple syrup, mix it together, which I already did. I mixed it all together and I mixed it straight into a plastic bag. So I put the plastic bag in a cup, in a glass cup, and I mix the tahina, the cinnamon, and the maple syrup in here. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the recipe back on in a second. Nope, nope, one second. Hold on. Katie, it's still on the screen, we have it. Oh, okay, okay, but do you see me? Yes, I, I can see you as well. Oh, you do? Oh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is cut a tiny little tip on the bottom of this bag, really small. Snip that right off. Woo! And it's very juicy, very liquidy. And what I'm going to do is pipe the tahina right in where I took off the pit. And I'm going to put it on the tray. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to pipe it right in. 
like that. And I'm gonna put it on the tray. Then I'm gonna put them in the freezer. I'm gonna keep filling them up and I'm gonna put them in the freezer. One second. Okay. Once, once they're frozen, I have a very magical freezer. It freezes right away. They're frozen. The tahinas in the middle. I'm going to melt chocolate and then dip them in the chocolate. Okay, so let me see if I could. I think you could see me. Okay, so I'm going to take the date. I'm going to put it in my melted chocolate. How do I melt chocolate? I boil water in the pot. I, after it's boiled, I put this pan right on top. I make sure the bottom of this pan doesn't touch the boiling water. I shut the boiling water. I put the pan on top. My chocolate's inside, melted. Put my date in there. Roll it around. And then I'm going to take a fork. And I'm going to lift it out, tap it a few times, and put it in the tray. I'm just going to show you what that looks like, if you could see. Okay, does everybody see that? Thumbs up? Yeah, we all see it? Okay, great. Then I'm going to put this back in the freezer. And then once they're frozen, voila, you have a delicious chocolate covered date filled with tahina and cinnamon, which tastes like halibut. And uh, I'm already getting yums. I know, I wish <laughs> I could share this with you because I am gonna end up, guess who's gonna eat all these all alone? Hello, so fadalu everybody, whoever could come, please come. <laughs> So this is dessert number one. If anybody has any questions, I'll just go over it quickly. We deep hit a dates. I miss you all too. <laughs> we deep hit a dates. I put the mixture in the middle, tahina mixed with cinnamon and maple syrup. I froze it. Took it out of the freezer, dipped it in chocolate, back in the freezer. And then you could leave them in the freezer. I leave these in the freezer and it's my go-to snack. I mean, the big dates, it's a meal. These are small and cute and adorable, but the big ones, sometimes when I serve them, I cut them in half and they're absolutely delicious. Now, if you want to get extra fancy, you could take a date that's filled, put it in the chocolate, roll it around, and then, let me get my tray. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Ah. So I'm going to put it here. And then you could take chopped up pistachio and sprinkle it on top. And then you have a really beautiful dessert that is extra yummy. And you could also put sesame seeds on top. You could do uh, roasted almonds on top. Basically, you could either have it plain or with some kind of fancy crushed nuts. Okay, that's dessert number one. And these are really great all year round. So I advise you to use chocolate that's over 70%. And that's where you get the healthy benefits. Um, it's loaded with magnesium, copper, potassium. It's shown to improve brain function. Um, there was a study, and don't laugh, it can control coughs. There was a study, one study showed that it's more effective than common uh, cold medicines. Um, it can lower blood pressure. And I'm not talking about the milk chocolate. I'm talking about 70% and higher. I used for this 88% from a, from a town up north in Jerusalem, uh, in uh, Israel. Because the date is so super sweet, you can use the bitter chocolate here. So don't be afraid because you have the bitter and then you have the very sweet date 
and then the tahini in the middle, it's perfection, trust me. I wish you could taste it. Okay, moving, moving right along. Our next dessert is a chocolate chip cookie. So we don't really use a lot of gluten. I use almond flour for most everything. Oh, let me get the recipe up there. Uh, okay, share desktop, one second. And I'm gonna move this over. And let's see, one second. Do, do, do. Okay, wait one second. I had here cookies. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that is. Does everybody see that? The cookie recipe? Yeah? Yeah. I can't open it. You can open it? Um, well, I could read it to you. Here. Do you see it now? Yes. Does everybody see it? We could see it's very small. Uh, you want to read it to us? I'll read it to you. Okay, here we go. I see it. Ready, everybody? It's two and a half cups of almond flour. It's very easy. Two and a half almond flour, half a teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon Himalayan salt. That's the dry ingredients. I mix them together. Okay, they mix together. Two and a half cups almond flour, half a teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt. That I put on the side. And then I mix together half a cup of, well, I use a little less than half a cup of grapeseed oil. I like to use grapeseed because it has no flavor and it's great for baking. And I'm gonna use maple syrup. What would you use if you don't have grapeseed oil? I would, mm. well, I have used olive oil with these cookies and it came out fine. How about avocado oil? I like to bake or cook with olive oil because it's very sensitive. Right. So grapeseed oil has a higher- Katie, do you refrigerate the grapeseed oil? Did we refrigerate the grapeseed oil? The only oil I really use is grapeseed oil and olive oil if I'm not heating it up. How about avocado oil? Excuse me? What about coconut? Oh, coconut, yeah. Coconut for sure. How about avocado oil? Okay, so I'm adding, let me just give you the rest of this. Recipe. Someone's asking avocado oil. Maple syrup. Less than half a cup of grapeseed oil. I, I don't think it needs the whole um, cup. And then a tablespoon of the vanilla. Yes, this is from Costco. Don't ask me how I got it here, but I must have got it on one of my trips. <laughs> Some things you just need America for. What can I tell you? Okay, and that's it. You mix this together. You mix the Dry ingredients, it's very easy. So I'm gonna give you a little secret. How much maple syrup? A half a cup or less. Okay. I'm mixing it together, adding in the chocolate chips. If somebody, for some crazy reason, doesn't eat chocolate, which I don't understand those people, but there are people in the world that don't eat chocolate, don't, you don't have to put in the chocolate chips and then you could add two teaspoons of cinnamon instead. It comes out delicious, especially with the salt. And then if any of you are into essential oils, I add to this a citrus oil, like wild orange or citrus bliss. It's blissful. Okay, so that's it, it's ready. See the dough, it's really, oh, let me make the screen bigger. Stop share, here we go. It's simple, now I'm gonna add the chocolate chips. So I use 85% chocolate chips. Again, if you wanna use 70, if you're like the weaker among us, <laughs> more than what this is. Um, I cut the recipe in half because I have so many cookies in there, but it's one cup. Okay, so I'm gonna add that in, and that's it, one, two, three. 
No eggs, no dairy, no butter. It's good. Well, somebody's telling me it's good. Okay. And they're drooling. I know. I wish I could share this with you. It's killing me. What I do is I take an ice cream scoop. I have a little one. This is a very small one. And then I put it right on the tray. So it's a cute little bowl and I press down gently. Okay, and I bake it for 11 minutes, between nine and 11 minutes, depending on your oven. So I put them in the oven and they really come out beautiful. This is really like a magical show. <laughs> I made one little ice, I made one little cookie and here we go. There's seven beautiful cookies. And here are the cinnamon ones that I made. They're really delicious with the cinnamon and that extra citrus bliss or um, wild orange. What you could do with the chocolate chip if you like, if you have essential oils. Yes, I could post the recipes with SEA. Yes, for sure. A hundred percent. I will. How about using orange wine? Orange wine, delicious. Delicious. But uh, the citrus bliss happens to be perfect in this. Okay. So we have our dates from Hashem that are candy. They're, they're, they're the most perfect dessert. Stuffed with tahina, which I didn't even tell you what tahina has in it. Protein source of vitamin B, a variety of vitamins and minerals, rich in antioxidants. Chocolate's rich in antioxidants. Dates are rich in antioxidants. Tahina's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory compounds. Um, has, it's a healthy fat, great source of calcium, makes your skin glow, and it's a good source of iron. Um, the dates that we know, they're a brain booster. They help maintain bone mass. They're a natural sweetener. Again, Hashem's candy, high in fiber, vitamins, minerals. So everything that we're using is, is really fabulous quality. Our third dessert. This is the easy peasy. You don't need a pen. I, I don't have to email any um, recipe. All I'm doing is taking 100 grams. Oh, 100 grams. You're not going to know what that is. So it's three and a half ounces of chocolate. For this recipe, I'll allow you to use 70%. I'll tell you why. There's two ingredients in this recipe. Chocolate and tahini, and that's it. You melt the chocolate, which I have melted already, but actually I'm gonna melt this one because it's not as Hi, Dad. intense. We melt the chocolate, we add tahini, we mix it together and we have fudge. Okay, so I'm going to get that to melt and then I'll show you how to do it. Meanwhile, we have leftover chocolate. What do we do with this? Yes, we could lick this whole entire bowl, but I'll give you a great idea. I always have on hand dried fruit and mixed nuts. I have dried apricot that I cut up. There's salted peanuts, walnuts, roasted almonds, there's some dried cherries. You could put anything. You could put pistachio, you could put macadamia nuts, pecans, because we're on lockdown here. It's just whatever I had in my house. <laughs> this is what I have. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it, just pour it into the chocolate, mix it together, and we have a delicious, healthy, almond bark. Why is it healthy? Because the chocolate is over 70% and all these uh, dried fruit and nuts are incredible. You put it in, um, you flatten it out on a tray. Let's see if you could see this. This is so challenging. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put it all out on the tray. Now, if I want like a thick, remember those, um, what's that candy, that chunky candy we used to eat, that thick? Chunky. 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 Oh. <laughs> chunky. 
So you can have it really thick and chunky or I could really flatten it out and make it quite thin. And I'm gonna take a spatula and really get every ounce of chocolate here. And then when I put it in the fridge, I'll show you what happens. Magic How much tahine did you put in this recipe? Well, I would say How about a cup, a cup of dried fruit and nuts to a hundred to three and a half ounces, which is a hundred grams, which is like a chocolate bar. These and what about tahine? How much tahine did you put in this one? This is three and a half grams. I would use oh. a little less than a cup. Um, this recipe didn't have tahine. Oh, no, no, okay. The tahine is coming out 10 minutes left. Okay. <laughs> this was a little extra bonus recipe because I had leftover chocolate. So this is what happens when it's in the fridge. You could either make little, drop them by spoonfuls and you get little cute chunks or you have a bark. So I made this really thin. Oh, here's my taster. <laughs> that was Joey. <laughs> so <laughs> Hi, Joey. <laughs> uh, he already ran, ran up and out the door. Okay, everybody's saying hi. So I really made this thin, and then you could just break it up and serve it, and it's like super yummy. And you could do all those. I'll be back for the next, for the next dessert. <laughs> Hi, Chloe! <laughs> okay, so... Thank you, Miss Katie! The water's boiling. I'm shutting the water. I'll show you over here. I'm shutting the water, putting this bowl on top of it, and putting my three and a half ounces of... This is the next recipe. And I'll go over everything again. This is the chocolate that's gonna melt. We're doing our third recipe that you don't need to write anything down. It's one bar of chocolate, three and a half ounces, one cup of tahina, raw tahina. That's it. So for this one, I am using a lighter 70%. That's like the minimum I would go. So we're going to wait till this melts, but because we are time um, constricted here, we're going to make believe that melted, and then we're going to make believe that I took one cup, this is the best tahina ever in the entire world, you could eat it straight from the jar, I'm going to mix it with the tahina, period. Then I'm going to pour it in a little parchment lined tray. The thicker it is, the thicker the fudge is going to be. What brand was the tahina? It goes in the brand, if you could get this brand, buy as much as you could. It's Harbracha. Here it is in English. Did you see it? Oh, it's backwards. Harbracha. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's fabulous. So it goes in the freezer. It comes out in a um, like a big piece of fudge, and then I cut it up and I put it down. Oh, here it is. And it's pieces of fudge, chocolate and tahina. It's the perfect healthy snack. It's such a it's a boost of energy. So what you could do now is put them on a plate and then take cocoa and then sprinkle cocoa on them. I'm just going to take some cocoa and sprinkle it on top. And we have, again, I wish I could serve all this to you because guess who's going to be eating it while she's in quarantine? We can't leave more than a hundred yards from our house, so we just, okay, at least I have something to keep me company. Okay, so I'm going to go over everything. We started off with the chocolate-covered dates that are stuffed with tahina and cinnamon and maple syrup. Put them in the freezer, dip them in chocolate. I would use a very dark chocolate 
for that because the date is very sweet. The second thing we did was our chocolate chip cookies or cinnamon cookies for those who don't like chocolate. We put two teaspoons of cinnamon in the cookie dough or I would use between 70 and 75% chocolate chip cookies, uh, chocolate chips for this recipe. And for the, hmm, oh, for the bark, I just use leftover chocolate. So this is 88%, this is intense, but that's me, I get intense sometimes. And then we have the fudge. The fudge, which is pure chocolate and tahina, sprinkle cocoa powder, and you're good to go, and they're absolutely delicious. So, especially during these times where it's very important to strengthen our immune system with good healthy food and good healthy desserts and not fall into um, the nosh of, of refined sugar, which weakens our immune system. So we need to um, look around at the berachot that Borelam gave us uh, with all this natural and healthy, oh, all this natural and healthy um, food that is plentiful and uh, nutritious and delicious. So if any of you have any questions, I will uh, email SCA the recipe so you can ask them for it. Um, let me see if there's any questions here. Is Uncle Joey giving us? <laughs> I don't know if he is. Um, Hi, Katie. Hi, my love, everybody. Wait, I want to see everybody. Hi, Kay. Hi, Kay. Hi, Kay. Oh, Yo, love hi. you. It's like hi. chat. Wait, let me take a picture. Hi, Katie. Hi. Oh, my God. I'm hi, just Katie. So touched by everybody. Let me call hi from my friend. Hi, Katie. Sarah, my hi, nieces, Katie. all my nephews. Your sister. <laughs> Your my friend. sister, my love. Where's hi, mommy? Katie. Oh, wait, well, yeah, one I'm more very important message before you leave. Stay home. We, we, the doctors in the community, the doctors here all have the same. Stay home and eat chocolate. Stay home. I mean, that was our message. Their message is stay home. My message is eat chocolate. So we're a perfect combination. Thank you, Katie. You'll be posting the recipe before you sign off. Say it again. Can you repost the Any first recipe with the dates before you sign off? Yes, yes, of course. No, Katie, what do you think of safflower oil for baking? Or I never used it. Okay. I never used it. Okay. That's the um, that's not no safflower. I don't I don't know what it is. Okay. That's the cookies. That's the cookies you posted. Oh, cookies. What did you want? The tahina. Here yeah, it is. The, the, the dates, the dates one. How much How does? many of that came up? How much maple syrup? Oh, yeah, this is it. Did okay. That come up? That's good. Maple syrup. Is it oh, some maple syrup? Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Shell and Terry. Oh, my God. This is really good. Katie. Katie, I have a question. Yes. Katie, if we don't have the dark chocolate bar because we're stuck home, Substitute Hershey's cocoa, the dark powdered cocoa, with maybe some oil for the halawa with, with that little fudge. Oh, to dip it in? To dip? No, to mix tahina with maybe oh, tahina, cocoa powder. I, it's going to be very uh, liquidy. Uh -oh. Oh. The chocolate, when it thickens, when you put it in the freezer, it's going to freeze. This, I don't know how well it's going to freeze for the fudge you're talking about. Yeah. How yeah. about if she used coconut oil? See, before we found out that we had to stay home, I went and bought <laughs> get them out the, the stables. I had to have my chocolate and my dates and my tea. So funny. Um, I don't know if that would work with the fudge. I don't know if that would work with the fudge. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Sounds great. If I think of who's asking this, Michelle? Esther Arking. Oh, hi, Esther. How are you? Good. So you have cocoa, right? I'm yeah. going to find that. I'll let you know. I mean, I tried doing cocoa with like date syrup and stuff, but it's thin. It's very thin. How about yeah. if she used coconut oil? Coconut oil will get thick in the freezer. 
right but not right the coconut oil will get thick but you need to not have the right ratio i'm just trying to think you need the right ratio yeah the coconut oil will thicken up i think i have a recipe somewhere i'm gonna get back to you okay thanks sure. and next Keep time up the great work chocolate. it's a staple no i have but i don't have dark chocolate I finished it almost. We ate it already. So. All right. Great. Any questions?